my second video is going to be Warbatron Fierce Attack um, following on from my first Warbatron Whirlwind. Before I get into it, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of those of you that um, comment, rated and subscribed on my first video. It was my first um, review. And thank you for all your feedback and constructive criticism. I've tried to address all the points that you guys have raised and hopefully those come through in this video. So without further ado, let's have a look at Warbatron Fierce Attack. So he comes in his usual Warbatron um, box, um, similar in colour to like the others, except for obviously this is a purple, so it's the same shade of purple as, say for example, Slide Trust Strikes um, Orange. So I'll have a quick look at this box first, and then we'll look at the collage picture that is standing behind. So you get to see uh, Warbatron here, um, Fierce Attack here in his vehicle mode, that's how he comes packaged, and a nice bit of artwork on the side, which is the same sort of format that they've done for the others. Uh, top has nothing. The back has a negative product shot um, of it, like in a negative view, which is the same as, as the others with the contact details here. Um, on the side, on the side here, we've got um, his face um, on the product shot here on the side. Um, Staff Sergeant, Marshal Master, RM, still haven't fixed that, Forces of Warbatron, one star. And on this side, absolutely nothing but the rest of the moon picture which is behind him. Now, that's that box out of the way. Now, most of us, well all of us actually that have been collecting this set, have so far, piece by piece, been putting together the collage image um, that comes on um, the back of each section. And this, if I lift up my camera, I hope it's coming out really well, is the picture that you get when you put it together. And this thing is huge when you put all that stuff together. So you've got uh, Warbatron standing in the middle of a wreckage city, um, armed to the T. There's a couple of um, planes and stuff I think you can see here um, flying overhead behind him. But there's total carnage there and it is a massive sight. Um, wow, it's a really good artwork. Um, just black and white, but um, it, it totally works. It really does. Um, a very nice, very nice picture. And I thought I'd just show you this side where we've got sort of each figure um, sort of in their negative view that comes up. Um, I have to twist and turn the boxes in different ways, which means the, the set doesn't come out as tall, but that's just what that looks like together for those of you that are interested in that. So, out of the box, we get a set of instructions. Opens up, it's really cool. Two packets of missiles, right there, which will probably attach to um, the main figure. Great standard collector's card, um, uh, same style um, as the original, really nice plastic, really nice um, sort of uh, picture there of um, Fierce Attack um, doing his thing. Let me just move this a little bit further forward. We get a bit more light on there. So we get a nice picture here of um, Fierce Attack um, doing a running pose. Um, all his stats and things on the back. And this is made the same sort of quality um, as the other cards have come. So really, really nice. Um, Going to put those in my collector card album. Um, really nice. Um, we also get a torso for um, Airburst, their blast off. Um, I've, I think with the first run there was some some QC issues, so they've put packed stuff in here and a torso and some screws and stuff, and there was a screwdriver as well um, to help you guys put those together. But there was also some additional stuff that shipped with um, the World Wing um, issue um, toy as well. Um, there's also this, which I'm not quite sure what that's to do with yet. Um, we've got some yellow uh, plastic clips and a black sort of squidgy thing on there. Um, but I'm sure that will reveal itself um, as we get into the review and as I get to, to mess with it. Big surprise, you don't actually get a comic with this issue. Instead, what you get is a graphic novel. <laughs> and this is a really thick book 
which includes not just Fierce Attack story, but you get all of their individual stories compile, compile, compiled to create Warbot Rises, is what it's called. And they've actually got someone to help out with the English. Um, it says here that someone, Anthony K. Uh, Logan, um, has done the story and the lettering. So it's the whole story of each individual figure and how they all come together to um, form Warbatron. So you've got Whirlwind storyline in there, which you can see. Um, you've got, um, who else didn't get one? Slice Strike is in there somewhere. Can't quite find his bit right now. Maybe Slice Strike Airburst, which we've already got. And then Fierce Attacks ones um, towards the end. And then, you know, it all sort of culminates in them forming Warbatron. So um, that's that. Now on to what actually, the actual products that come with it. So we get a big massive ri rifle for our um, Warbatron figure. And if we look to the left here, up into the light, you can see some really good light piping um, in that. I hope that's coming out really well. Um, Canon's really well detailed. But we're going to look at the um, Warbatron combined stuff um, in closer detail when I do the Warbatron video. But this video is specifically going to be about just Fierce Attack as a figure. Um, so we get um, Warbatron's hands, his chest guard here, um, feet, which lock on, back missiles. And here is the truck for our guy, um, Fierce Attack. So looking at the truck, it's once again, very, very detailed. Um, it's it, the, the colors and the, the plastics are exactly kind of like the set. Actually, I think they've kind of stepped up the game on some of the plastic actually. It feels a lot um, smoother in some places, but the color palette that they've used is like, that's the blue that matches the, the brown on Airburst, which matches the yellow on Slice Strike. Um, so that's pretty good and I haven't transformed this guy yet so this is exactly how it comes out of the panel the only thing that's a bit of a downside is that not all of the wheels if you look here not all of the wheels are actually touching the floor but that might sort of like um, sort itself out once I transform it a couple of times so we've got a back ramp here which is like an extra um, pulley we can actually pull these bits down here um, makes a bit of a, a ramp for other figures to sort of like climb on on board and um, if I grab one of the other Warbatron guys put the tank like on here to lift that to sort of lock that into place securely and you can see he fits on the back there a treat so that's how that sort of like looks sort of with him on the back there um, just really looking over it it's just really well sort of like detailed when we um this back part whoops this back part here it's all right that can just clip back on um this back part here actually comes apart i'll put that to one side um and this is sort of like the back trailer and this i believe looking at the pictures is gonna what's gonna form um Warbatron's uh, thighs and waist. So that's really cool there. Um, so we can put that to one side. So just looking at the truck, um, it's really well put together. Um, got it here, really nice details in here. Little side mirror, I don't know if that folds out, does it? Yep, it does, little nice side mirror there that comes out, folds out like that. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Looking underneath, absolutely no sign of a robot there at all which is really really nice um he's really well hidden there rolls pretty well this wheel here on the back doesn't look like it oh when i put a bit of pressure on it now we can see that all the wheels there are sort of rolling like that um really really well done figure feels you know a really good weight um and yeah that's uh that's really pretty much all I can say about this. Let's get him together with the rest of his squad. So, 
that's the entire unit there um, in alt, in the, their alt vehicle modes and they all look really really good together if anyone knows like where I can get some stands so I can have these posed as if they're flying because you just put that in the, the description below but let's just have a look um, at a few of these vehicles side by side um, you can see they're pretty much the same um, in sort of, well, I guess they're kind of in scale with each other. Um, maybe not so much the Hummer and and the main truck, but um, yeah, they're um, really good size together. The wheels are made pretty much on the same sort of um, style um, with the nice paint um, applications that have been sort of added to them. Um, so that's that's him there with the other land vehicles. And next to the aircraft. Again, they all look really well uniformed together, um, and I am really, really liking this set. Um, <clears throat> so, the instructions, there's been a, quite a few pictures sort of like released on how you can use sort of like the accessories that it comes with um, as a bit of a, I don't know, rocket based kind of like um, launch pad for like different. Um, vehicles and things on there and the instructions don't actually make reference to that but there are things that you can do sort of um with these extra pieces that give like sort of like everyone a role if you didn't want to um you know display your display um as warbatron all the time you can connect airburst to that have him look like he's um about to sort of uh take off in sort of rocket mode um which is pretty cool you can sort of like position things um a little bit in, um interestingly um from there you can sort of like attach that back on there um actually let's have a look and see if slice strike fits on the back here yeah he does well mm, not so much actually it is really designed it is really designed for um, the tank to um, to go in the back there. But, you know, already you can start to, like, play around with sort of, like, different setups. Um, and you're only really, I guess you're only really limited by your imagination. I'm just going to make it um, a pretty short one just for this video um, um, for you guys. Um, but those are some of the things that you can do um, with the... With, with the um, accessories that it comes with so i've got this guy transformed into robot mode and we can see here this is kind of what this is what he looks like so we've got a front profile picture here or profile of him here that's what he looks like from the side you can see bits of robot you can see like right through him here um on here which isn't really that great but you're not really going to pose him like that very often and on the back here got sort of like what he looks like here um, he cleans up quite nice um, you've got obviously a box part here um, which hides um, which which transports um, Warbatron's head but um, all in all this is kind of like what the bot mode looks like um, he feels very stiff like here obviously um, he's quite um, big and bulky on here and you're not going to get any sort of like arm poses like to the side because his, his arms just don't fold out like that but um, what we got is the head here on a very loose ball joint it feels quite loose and unlike the other um, Warbatron figures I mean the light pipe in the video is looks like it's coming out quite well but in real life it doesn't actually look like it's that bright if I put it over here in front of my camera you can kind of see the glow here but some of the others they tend to um, pop out a little bit more in real life but it looks like it looks as though for the video's sake it's coming out really really well um so going on to articulation his arms do a free 360 but you can hear that sort of plastic rubbing on plastic there very very squeaky um i don't know if that's going to loosen up i hope it doesn't start chipping off things on it but that's kind of what we've got to deal with um, at the elbow you can bend get some elbow bend here and he's once again got that double jointed elbow so he can bend back here but you've also got if you look here you've also got like a swivel so we can swivel him at the elbow 
twisting his arm to the side um, as much as he can more out to that side really um, there's no forearm um, articulation but there is a wrist swivel the hands and fingers are four molded all together um, they sort of just you know do like that really um, and that's um, his arms his waist does twist and you get all the way around well you get a 180 on that which is quite cool and that's part of the transformation which you need to twist him his skirts sort of lift up which allow for his leg to give you a full 90 degrees forward and a full 90 degrees back um, the bend at the knee isn't quite 90 degrees it's sort of like that but it kind of works which is quite cool um, the feet themselves um, he's got two parts to his feet as you can see the front the back part here for um, balance um, can also have a little bit of gives him a bit of an ankle tilt so does the front and um, that's pretty much it for articulation um, so, oh his um, thighs there's a twist at the thigh which allows you to kind of pose him in a bit of a different way if you want to so earlier I said that his shoulders couldn't really get much articulation um, but that was incorrect because what you can do is you can lift that up out of the way probably put it like there in front or maybe keep it there to the back and you can get some um, side arm motion like that um, but you know you can just sort of play around with how you want that bit to be so weapons wise he comes with what forms the back of um, Bruticus and what you can do is you can split that part a bit apart like that and you can flip out the guns and we can open up his hands and oops, pop that in just want to be careful doing this because I broke a figure earlier there so we can kind of hold that like that in his arm I prefer to do it sideways rather than using the ones underneath to hold it because he just doesn't like that he just doesn't hold it um, properly but this makes it feel a lot more sort of secure with it um, the gun itself in this mode kind of looks a bit ridiculous to me um, it's just way too big um, and um, to be honest I just kind of feel that um, they could have done something better, they could have given him a, a rocket launcher or a bazooka or something different than this. The gun's just too big and it just kind of looks a bit ridiculous. So um, on to size comparisons. Um, he's a lot smaller and in my opinion Onslaught is as big as Optimus Prime. Um, so he is, there we are back to back. Um, he is um, smaller than that so um, yeah in terms of robot mode um, he's not quite as big but maybe when it comes to um, when it comes to combined mode maybe they might be in scale with the masterpiece line and that I think works really really well I think that these onslaught I saw um, well actually I don't know because maybe if he's supposed to be as big as oh, I haven't Put the top this bit away. If he's supposed to be as big as Optimus Prime, then maybe he should be as big as Galvatron. But in some bits of the, the comic and stuff, Onslaught's actually been taller um, than Prime and Megatron. But if you guys know anything, just put it in the comments and descriptions below. But that's what they look like back to back. And finally. Let's see what he looks like with the rest of his Warbatron buddies. So here's all of them all together, um, the whole Combaticon unit. Um, they look fantastic together. I'm really pleased and really, really liking this set. Um, my next video is going to be of them all combined. Um, so um, stay tuned, hit the link. I'll put up a link once I've made that video. Um, 
um, so that you guys can follow it on from this one but that's pretty much all there is to say about um, this guy really um, thanks for watching um, and uh, yeah as always please leave me some constructive um, feedback um, below and um, I'll catch you guys next time